Oh my goodness, Amber, there are like five kangaroos around. One, two, three, four, five. And Amber, and this is Mikey. Well, I'm an Australian now, but... I mean, previously. James and Joel. I saw the kookaburra. Amber thinks that by taking her sandals off, she'll walk more softly and quietly towards the kangaroo. <laughs> She's walking towards a very excited kangaroo, actually. Hmm? She's walking towards a very excited kangaroo. Very excited. Look, they're scratching themselves. They're so excited. <laughs> Amber's from the UK. She's very excited about seeing kangaroos. She's been talking about it the whole drive up here, which took about actually seven hours. Amber is determined to feed the kangaroo. We all seem to be running away from her. I think that it's too easy to just get, get fed by hand. It might mess them up for lives. They have to hunt and forage for their food. Nope. Nope. They don't want it the easy way. He's just waiting to be fed. He's not going anywhere. Maybe Amber will have success at last. Uh oh. Come on, have some food. It's yummy. Come on, she won't hurt you. Nice kangaroo. Cute little Joey. Don't you want some crackers? <laughs> oh. I have just suggested to James that he hop like a kangaroo to fool the kangaroo into believing that he is he is also a, a two-legged mammal that hops. Amber has offered the challenge that she would give a beer to anyone who gets close to the kangaroo. That's kangaroo talk. I bring you love. He is mating with a kangaroo. <laughs> It's a peace offering. I still think James should hop. Well, he's mirroring the kangaroo now. It seems to be working. The kangaroo looks intrigued. No. <laughs> what Australian it must men will be do for food? Specific booze. part of the grass. I don't think they're just eating any old grass. What if I give it a flower? <laughs> then the kangaroo will clearly think you're past, making a pass. It's the shortest. So I think it's this stuff. Oh. Clearly, the kangaroo did not like the flower that James like is a man to proposing to a kangaroo. <laughs> to show how important beer is. To Australians, for sure. Yeah. Oh look, she's intrigued. She likes the flashing yellow color waved in front of her eyes. Maybe she get on your knee. <laughs> there oh. we go. I don't know why. That looks very romantic to me. Kangaroo. Rejection. Is your heart broken? <laughs> Wow, that one's getting kind of tall and aggressive looking. Yeah, really close though. You do know why it stands up like that too, by the way. Yeah, to like warm me up. Never <laughs> feed or interact. <laughs> but apart from that, you were pretty good there. Yeah, yeah we I followed uh, all the rules. Did all those. Didn't keep my distance. I didn't. Particularly when a kangaroo is growling or clucking. Engaging in courtship. I didn't hear any clucking. Oh, I did. Yeah. I totally and with did. Did you really? And with their joey. <laughs> okay. And engaging in courtship. They were all doing that when I was walking up to them. Yeah. The sign where it says, keep your distance, particularly when a kangaroo is sparring or fighting, growling or clucking with their joy, or engaging in courtship or mating behavior. It's nice that they spell that out. Well, we've given up. No kangaroo stroking this afternoon.